Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do these fun little triangly, tribal, I'm not really sure what to call these, but just these, just basically a lot of lines. Um, this is another one that I thought it would probably be easier to do it on nail wheel just because, I don't know, there's a lot of weird twisting and turning I normally do when I'm trying to get these lines straight. Um, I get a lot of questions about how I get lines straight and hopefully this will help you. It's really not complicated. I feel like these look a little bit more complicated than they actually are. Okay, so we're using our handy dandy striper pens again. I use them all the time, obviously. We're going to start off with the white and just make, this is a big, well, yeah. We're just going to make a big X. And how I like to do this is I normally like to just kind of spot the middle and kind of just put a dot in the middle just so you can see where you're going. And this is obviously again just a rough outline here. So we're just going to make just a big X. Okay, so now we have the X in. Um, that's basically the outline we're going to follow. Next we're going to come in with some color. Let me set this down for a second and just color the sides. Um, I'm doing a little different than this just because I feel like that's too dark. So I'm coming in with this color club. Um, I'm not sure. Color club Rain in Spain. really like this color. I haven't used it in a while. And then a favorite China Glaze highlight of my summer. So we're just going to come in and you can do this with any color scheme any colors it doesn't matter I think this is this is one of my favorite designs and it's pretty easy and it looks you know super cool I think so I'm just gonna come in and then just color in the sides it's okay if you color up the white the white is really just there just for an outline you don't have to do that obviously since I just covered it up um, I usually try not to cover the whole thing up but this is just a little bit you know, you know my stance on outlines. You don't have to d throw it in there, but sometimes it's just easier. For me, at least. Sorry, I hope you can see that. Okay, then I'm going to color come in with this orangey coral color that I really like. It's super fun for summer. Do the same thing. I hope it's not too shaky. You can do, like I said, any color scheme that you want. I just thought this would be a little fun. A little bit more fun. More bright. Okay. We're going to let that dry for a while. Yeah, we're going to let that dry for a second and then come in and do the other lines and we'll be good okay we've let this dry for just a second I'm sorry I forgot to tell you what this base is this is Zoya Megan it's a really nice gray I haven't really used it a lot but I really like this color um, okay so now what we're gonna do is just we're just gonna outline this X again and then draw the lines in the middle start off with your white again and then just come in and then just outline it. Whoopsie. I think my trick to getting straight lines, which I just made a little mistake, so it's probably not the best to say on this, but is um is really the outlining, is really the coming in with the rough outline and then going through because I feel like it's too much pressure to try to do it all in one. Some people can do it, but I just, not my thing. Okay, got that one done. And with the bright color like this, sorry, I'm probably covering this up, but I'm literally just outlining. I'll turn it this way so you can see. And with the bright color, you might need to go through, see how the, the, the green is showing up through the white. So you'll just go through and go over it again. 
Okay? So now, I mean, that's pretty cool on its own, but just to add in some, some other lines just to give it a little bit more dimension here. And what you're going to do is just going to, hold on, I just need to fix this. And always, you can always come through since this is water-based or this is what I use. You can always come in and if you make a little mistakes, you can just come in with a Q-tip or something and clean it up. Okay. Sorry if the camera's shaking. Sorry, guys. Okay. So now we're going to just come in with little triangles. Starting with the biggest one. And then just continue. Just continue until you can't do it anymore, until you run out of space. And I'm not, you know, going over these as many times as I would normally, just because I'm trying to make this a little bit faster than normal. I'm a perfectionist, so I'll sit here for a long time trying to get these lines as straight as possible. But just to show you how to do it, that's fine with me. Um, I'm just going to do this part right here. Okay, now we're going to come in with the black and then we'll be done. Same exact thing. Just outline it and then draw triangles. So we're just going to outline right below the white sorry make it easier for you guys to see right below the white Then draw the triangles within it. Okay, so I just outlined, outlined these really quickly. My striper brush is running low, so I suggest you make sure you have one that's new and not drying out. As you can see, the lines are not perfect. But um, straight lines, the only thing, the only tip I can give is just spend as much time on it as you want. If you don't really care how straight your lines are, then this would be fine. I mean, it still looks fine. But if you want really straight lines, just it just takes more time to spend. Um, we'll put a top coat on this, but um, and I get asked about my top coat. I use HAV. Um, I never have a problem with it. I think people people have a problem with shrinkage, but that doesn't really happen when you seal the tip, which is one of my biggest suggestions: is make sure to seal the tip. Okay, so this is with top coat. You know, I would definitely go over it a couple times with this just to show you how um, these are done. This is the finished product on my nails. I used a little bit different colors, but um, this is just a really simple design that honestly I think looks really cool. Um, Non-dominant hand, I didn't do it with the colors just because I ran out of time, but I get asked about 
lines and stuff on my other hand and as you can see they're not as good I just did this real quick in about 30 minutes but they're still alright I normally I normally can get them to look about identical depending on how much time I take on them this is just a little bit closer up view um, thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe and leave any comments below if you have any questions or requests anything like that have a good day thank you